What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to customize the trust that we have created on our last video. So we are going to modify this one. So we're going to create an arc for the bottom cord of this truss that we have created. And then we're going to change the type of this. And then after that, we are going to copy this to the other side here. Okay, so let's do this. So what I'm going to do is, um, let's select the truss that we have created last time. Just click that. And then from the edit type, so let's select edit type to open up the type properties so this is what we do or this is the standard way of creating a new type of uh, a family okay a new type so that it will gonna be added to our uh, selection here later on so once you create it so the first step is you need to duplicate that and then you specify the name so let's say for example uh, this is a short or let's say I'll just put an arc bottom cord type okay or whatever name that you want and then after that just select your okay and then there you go so it's now added here so it's now under the the type so if you click the drop down arrow it will gonna be now included there to the selection and then after that so that's the time we can now specify or change the the properties here like for example for the top chords so i want to change the structural framing type so instead of wide flange so i'm gonna use here another type let's a tubing okay so i'm going to select here this one HSS round structural tubing, HSS 4.5 by 0.337. Okay, so just click that one and same with the vertical webs. So let's change that same type as well. So let's go to the HSS round. Same with the diagonal webs. So let's change it same type okay sa same with the bottom cord so just change that same type there you go okay and then after that just select here okay just to make it consistent just select okay and then see what will happen so there you go okay so it's now round or tube type now, the next thing that we are going to do is I'm going to show you how to change the profile of our uh, truss here. So like what I have said, for the bottom cord here, I want that to be an arc. Okay, so to do that, let me just uh, let me just go back again to my floor plan here. And then remember, we created an elevation there. So let's open up the elevation, double click that, and then let's create it here. Let's modify. So we are going to select the truss. And then after that, from the mode panel, you can see edit profile. Okay, so just click edit profile. And then you are now on the edit mode uh, window. Okay, so you have two options here. You can modify the top cord. So it defines the top boundary constraint to which the truss model will fit and then the other one is the bottom cord which is what we are going to to select so let's click the bottom oh by the way before we select that we don't need this bottom cord here just delete this one first select and then delete that there you go and then from the draw panel make sure bottom cord is selected and then we are going to select start and radius arc. So just click that. And we are now going to pick the start of our arc, which is the intersection here of our uh, steel frame and then the grid 0.5. So just click that. So that will going to be the start of the arc. And then this will going to be the end of the arc. Click. And then... The radius here, I'm just going to type, let's say, uh, 14. Enter. And there you go. So there's now the arc. And then after that, just select here, modify. Then after that, finish. That's it. There you go. Okay. Let's check that out in the 3D view. 
3D and there you have it okay beautiful now the next thing that we are going to do is we're going to copy this to the other side there so let's go to the floor plan and then let's click our truss here okay so right now it's highlighting the beam system it's not the truss so that's why uh, hover your pointer and then press the tab once there you go so remember that so you always press the tab you see whenever you press the tab it cycles the selection so if ever the truss is not highlighted when you press the tab just press the tab again until it highlights just like that and then you click it and then let's copy copy and then i'm just gonna pick the base point here on my grid e and then i'm going to pick it here there you go and then just select here modify okay and then that's it so let's check that out in the 3d view and there you go so i'm gonna select this truss here and then hold control to select the other truss and then remember we can further uh create a 3d view or separate that 3d view selection box and there you go okay you can click the section box and then you can orbit your model like that to view your model again if you want to show the analytical model so you can just click here reveal hidden elements and then after that so maybe you can use a window selection like that and then uh, filter it check none analytical beams braces columns nodes and then okay and then unhide category close it and there you go so they are all connected so let's change that visual style to wireframe so you can see it there you go okay so basically that's how you modify your your truss your bottom truss if you want to try you can also change the or modify the top top cord okay so because right now we modify the bottom cord if you want you can try to modify the top cord okay so that's it for this big uh, video so thank you for watching guys have a nice day